once you have received Holy Communion and the time of thanksgiving has been completed, you will leave the church. But there is still a further act of reverence and devotion you can perform. This is the ablution. Let us take as our model how the priest is instructed to treat the Blessed Sacrament at Holy Mass. The chalice in which has contained the precious blood is washed first with wine, then with water and wine, and then it is permitted for him to wash it again with water if required. His fingers, which have touched the sacred particles, are washed with wine and then water. Anything that has contained the Blessed Sacrament is washed. The water is then drunk by the sacred minister. Here, O faithful Catholics, is our model for how we must purify our mouths after they have contained the most blessed sacrament. In days of old, in days of faith, the children were properly catechized that even after Holy Communion, they should be very careful, very careful with how they use their mouth. This mouth has contained the precious body of Christ. The children were instructed not to cough, to hold back any cough, to make sure not to sin too eagerly, too forcefully, not to speak too much, to speak as little as possible. This is because in those immediate minutes after Holy Communion, our Lord is there in your mouth. Our Lord is truly inhabiting you, is there inside of you. And spitting, coughing, these are desecrations of the Blessed Sacrament. That should be avoided as much as possible. It may be said that after the 15 minutes or even less, the Blessed Sacrament has ceased in the mouth of the faithful. The Blessed Sacrament is denatured and the real presence is no longer there. But this does not stop the priest when he is purifying the sacred linens from treating them with utmost care, even after they've been washed the first time. And indeed, the water in which they have been placed in, the water in which the Blessed Sacrament dissolves for the duration that they are there, that water is treated with the utmost reverence. And indeed, the container that has held the water likewise, it is treated with reverence. That water which has been there for maybe half an hour and the Blessed Sacrament has completely dissolved in, the priest is not allowed to just pour that down the sewer. That water has to be poured upon the earth. It has to be treated with the utmost dignity because it has contained the Blessed Sacrament. It has contained the body of Christ. And so the devout faithful perform an ablution upon their mouth after receiving Holy Communion, both to ensure that the Blessed Sacrament has fully dissolved in their mouth, and secondly, to treat with utmost reverence their mouth, which has contained the Blessed Sacrament, and to purify it, that is, to prepare it to now receive normal foods. The mouth that has had the Blessed Sacrament dissolve in it, or at least partially, must be washed so that then it may be used for normal foods. You will find very few traditional Catholics talking of this practice nowadays. They have forgotten about it. But of old, this practice was carried out. The faithful would drink from a glass of water, perhaps three times, on each occasion, not allowing their lips to touch the glass, rather pouring the water straight from their glass into their mouths, three times, perhaps in honour of the most blessed Trinity. And each time, as the water is drunk, performing a short prayer, raising the heart and mind to God, perhaps saying the words, Jesus, I love you with all my heart, or blessed be Jesus, in the most holy sacrament of the altar, or my Lord and my God, or thank you for coming to me today, O Jesus. 
The ablution of the mouth is a largely forgotten practice, but how beautiful it would be to see this revive. Nor is this burdensome. In the last 15 years that I've attended daily mass, and certainly in the last six years as a priest, I've been able to carry out this practice every day. Sometimes I bring a little bottle of water with me to Holy Mass. Other times I make the first act that I do upon returning home or returning to my room, pouring some water out in a cup and then making the ablution, swallowing that water and thinking upon our Lord who has entered inside of me, who has been pleased to enter my mouth this day and whose visit I am now honouring through these three mouthfuls of water that are taken carefully and swallowed with devotion. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar.